It's not the things inside my head that keep me going. Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it. Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me. But I believe in something bigger. Good morning, YouTube. All right, so it's like eight o'clock in the morning and I'm about to go train with my coach, Nath. So this is the first session that we've done in a long time. So before like the new year, I think, because he was doing his comp prep. So we just said we'll lay off the PT for a little bit um, just so that he could focus on that. But I'm so excited to get back into training. <laughs> Haven't done a morning session in quite a while either. So I feel good, <laughs> like getting up early. Took the oxy shirt already. Got my new Jordans on. I got my Jordan t-shirt. And I'm about to smash back an oat shake before we head off because we're gonna probably cop peak our traffic on the way to Atomic Gym in Epping, which is pretty far out, but it's worth it. I'm just gonna quickly whip this up and then we'll get going. So I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a little bit. All right, guys, we just got to Atomic Gym in Epping. Ugh. We didn't cop too much traffic on the way here, but man, you should have seen the queue going back the other way. Anyway, this is my very first time being here, so. Pretty excited because I've heard a lot of good things about this gym and their equipment and everything. So we're gonna head on in and uh, get warmed up, take our pre-workouts. All right guys, so I just did a couple warm ups there. So we're doing a low row to start with, um, trying to just bring up my lower lats because I feel like width is, isn't really a problem for me. So we're just trying to add that thickness into the lower lats in the Christmas tree area. So we're hitting the hammer strength machine to start with. This is my third set. And we're focusing a lot on the contraction and squeezing and holding, not just doing pump reps. So making sure that we break the momentum, hold that rep for at least one or two seconds, and then releasing and then blasting as we pull again. So check it out. All right, so basically what Eddie's doing here, I want him to hold the squeeze. Now it is proven scientifically that the eccentric phase, which is the downward phase, is the most anabolic phase. But the one thing with back I, I've found is that if we go too, if we focus on going too slow on the way down, we lose that grip for our forearms. So what, what we're trying to do here is, is focus on the contraction, a really hard, dense contraction, holding the squeeze so you get that, that solid contraction at the end, and then kind of levering, but kind of not levering too much. So squeezing fast, dropping a little bit. Squeezing fast, dropping a little bit. There we go. Fast, come on, drop it, there we go. I'm gonna do three more ready. One. Uh, two. Fast switch. Good man. Beautiful. Uh. Alright, so what he's doing here, uh, this is a very different exercise to what we usually do. We're gonna do a slow contraction, a hard squeeze, and a fast eccentric. Now where he puts his position is his hands, he's making sure his wrists are kind of bent right under here, so his hands are kind of tucked right in like that. Now, his back positioning, so you be very careful with your spine when you're doing this. He's rounding his back completely open. He's getting a stretch to his lower lat in here. Now instead of doing a fast switch contraction, from here, he really focused, he's grabbing the contraction with his back, and he's really isolating his back. He's pulling, so he's holding the squeeze, and he's kind of letting it drop through his back. Now, usually what we do is opposite. Usually we'll do a fast foot contraction, a squeeze, and then a, a slow eccentric. Now, if you can grab those two exercises and super set them together, just imagine the stimulus it's gonna have on the muscle. Going from a fast switch contraction, to a slow, slow twist contraction in, in, in one superset. To basically really focus, because it's very hard to not use your arms, find your limit. So see where Eddie's pulling right here? That's his limit right there. So he's using his back, pulling through his back, back only, back only, back only, fighting on it. And that's where he wants to use arms, but he's not using arms. There you go, now back only, back, so that's his limit there. Now what he's gonna do for the next two reps, he's gonna do at least three reps. He's gonna try and push past that limit. Push past, push past, push past. Good. You just drop. Now pull from the bottom. Push past, push past, push past that limit. All right, two more. Two more, ready? Now two more. Come on, push past that limit. Push past that limit. Push past that limit. Last one. Last one now. Come on. Squeeze it back from the top. Keep coming. Keep coming. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Beautiful. Good job. Get that sweat. Alright, 
superset. We doubled the weight, same exercise, same movement, different, different style of training. So okay, so here we're gonna go slow eccentric, fast contraction, hold the squeeze. Slow eccentric, fast contraction, hold the squeeze. So he's still doing the same thing. He's still getting that deep stretch. He's grabbing the contraction from the bottom. So he's like rounding his back, he's grabbing it from here. And he's squeezing, ready? Too heavy. One, good. Fast switch, hold the squeeze, lever. Good man, come on. It's gonna do two more, two more, two more. And we'll drop the weight, ready? Last one, last one, come on Eddie. Last one. All right, let's drop the weight, again. Last one. Fast switch, squeeze, slow eccentric. Ready, set, peel it from the bottom, there we go. Good, yeah. make sure your back is grabbing that weight from the bottom of the exercise. There we go, three. Ready, back starts contracting now. Hold. Last one, baby. Last two. Come on, last two. Up. Last one. Good. Uh, so add a few four straps in there. Um, I think it's important to chuck out a few four straps as well, as long as you kind of keep in that mentality of making sure that you're pulling that weight through your back, not through your spine. Understand that when Eddie rounds his back the way he does, it's very, very easy for you to pull that weight through your vertebrae if you wanted to as your back is rounded. So make sure that from the start of the contraction, you're grabbing that weight through your lower lats and the muscle on the spine. Good work, Eddie. Uh, watch this, ready. And what Eddie's doing here is he's peeling his body into the weight. Now on the way backwards, he's kind of he's peeling backwards. So watch this, ready. From the from the contraction here. His arms go forward and his back goes back. So it's almost like a P and F stretch. His body's kind of fighting the stretch. There, his arms go forward and he's kind of pulling his back from here backwards. Good, man. last one. I'm gonna do at least eight of these, ready? Fast switch. Slow eccentric, good man, at least eight of these. Fast switch. Slow eccentric, four. Five, come on, three more. Two more. This probably getting a little bit of forearm pain, but it's all right. Last one. All right, we're gonna chuck in one last superset, ready? Now this one we're gonna do here is we're gonna throw the weight just up and down, ready? Just up and down. Let's get some moons happening. As I stretch, what I'm going to do, I'm use my lat to stretch and I'm focusing on using my lat. I'm going to bring my glutes backwards and pull my body backwards so that when my arm comes forward, I can get that deeper stretch to my lower lat. My body's being pulled backwards. And from here, this movement right here, I throw my body into it. I put my hips back up again. And then I squeeze. Go backwards, my back rounds a little bit to get that deep stretch to my lower lat. My body turns that way a little bit, that way a little bit. And then glutes go up to keep my back flat, and I throw my body into it. Hold it. Lever. Good. Eddie, Eddie Young, one arm row. Here we go. So basically, what Eddie's doing right here. heavy move, you gotta make sure you're putting the weight in the right area so we're creating that overall beautiful shape. Really be careful you make sure that weight's forced into your muscle, not into your vertebrae. Start with light weight and work your way up. Think about PNF stretching. As that weight in your hand pulls your lat forward, you're pulling it backwards with your hip. Your hips turning that way. Good work Eddie. We're just about to move into doing some lat pull downs. And I'll tell you what, we're about three quarters of the way through the session and my lower lats feel so pumped up. So something that you guys might want to try is start with like your lower lats and your other movements rather than just hitting lat pull downs first. Because I know a lot of people always start with lat pull downs. So if you want to bring up those areas where you might be lacking like in your lower middle back or your lower lats in terms of the width, try throw those in to the start of the workout. Right, so with this lat pull down here, what we're going to be doing so a PNF stretch is when, I, let's say I'm PNF stretching my shoulder. What I'm gonna do here, my rear of my shoulder, 
I'm, pu I'm pushing, pulling my hand this way to stretch my shoulder that way. At the same time with this hand, as I'm pulling this one this way, I'm pushing that one that way to create a stretch to both sides of my shoulder. I'm gonna use that same method with my training of my back, which I do a lot of the time. So I'm gonna do here. I make sure the stretch of my lats is even through both sides. My glutes are attracted upwards, so my back is flat. Because if my glutes aren't attracted upwards, my back is in a shortened position. So to create a hard contraction, you want to shorten the muscles. So if I can pre-shorten them prior to contraction by retracting my glutes, the contraction is going to be more dense, if that makes sense. Stretch evenly through both sides, lean forward. Now start the contraction from here. Contracting, leaning backwards, elbows in the side, holding the contraction with my lower lat, and then using my lower lats to, this is where the PNS stretch comes in. So my elbows are flaring, and as this bar is pulling my hands up, me mentally in my mind, I'm rounding my back, which Eddie shows you my back. My back is in a rounded position, and I'm pulling my, my lats down as the bar is pulling my lats up. Now, same thing, listen to your vertebrae. That's the top of the motion. Glutes go back up again, and then down. And then as I start stretching, ready, from there, my back starts rounding. So you notice that his hips actually came backwards as his arms went up and his hips were Initially his, his back was arched like this and then as it went up He rounded it out in order to get that stretch and then as he gets to the top It starts to arch again and then you pull straight down through your elbows with your elbows flared out So I'll show you how it's done and he'll be able to explain it to you in a little bit more detail Because I'm a lot leaner and you'll be able to see it better on me because I'm a boss I'm, I'm a high pro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, so you can just see right there the emphasis already on Eddie's lats. You can see they're, they're, they're pulled way out of the pocket there. So all that stretch is right on his lats right now. It is a nice back. Now, perfect, there you go. Back's running. Good. So right under. Good. Now what he's doing here, he's leaning forward, he's getting that deep stretch on both sides. And then what he's doing at the bottom here, he's just holding that squeeze with his lower lat. Grabbing the lat from the top. And then make sure you drive your elbows into your side when you're doing this. Now, another thing where he's doing, which is actually really good, which I didn't take make note before, he's only contracting as far as his back will allow him. So I just see how he, when he gets to the bottom, the bar doesn't actually touch his chest? That's because it doesn't have to touch his chest. The bar needs to go down as far as it can. This is point B, that's point A. So contract the weight with your back from point A to point B with the contraction of your back as far as you can. So basically, you don't need to do full range of motion all the time. You just need to contract from point A to point B and focus on doing that movement with the contraction of your back. If you do the movement correctly, is as you progress through the movement, your back should start fatiguing and your range of motion should start shortening. So your first five to eight to 10 reps might be um, all the way to your chest and your last two, three, four, five reps, however many reps you do, the range of motion will shorten as you get through the movement because your back will be fatiguing. And that's if you do the movement correctly. All right, so to finish off the exercise, what Eddie's gonna do here is gonna do a Bonobo Row. He's still gonna use good form. As you can see, this is the first set, it's quite light. Um, but I, I still believe, we're really, really big on isolation movements and focusing on certain, squeezing certain muscles and working certain areas to create the overall beautiful shape, which is fantastic. But I do believe that we should do at least one heavy compound or with every exercise. So shoulders might be a dumbbell shoulder press, back might be a, a, a straight bar row like this. I'm not real fond on deadlifts and squats as of such, um, but I think a compound movement with each, each workout is definitely important. So that's just, that was his first set. Um, we're gonna go a bit heavier now and lose a little bit of form. Try and keep the form as good as we possibly can, but we will lose a little bit of form um, as we get a little bit heavier for this last exercise. That's sick, that back. All right, same sort of form. We might sacrifice a little bit of form, we get a bit heavier, drive. There we go. So we're still using that same PNF stretch, PNF stretch method as he gets heavier. You don't have to when you get really heavy. 
as he kind of want to be able to move a little bit of weight today. But as you can see, his elbows are still going back into his hips there. He's still keeping his hips tilted upwards. Um, I think this, this exercise, guys, make sure you wear a belt. Just keeps your core a little bit tighter. Keeps your vertebrae a bit stronger. And as we don't base the primary, our primary movements as such as compound movements, we, I think it's important to utilize the belt when we do go and do these, especially if we're doing it as last exercise. Right, it's getting quite heavy now. It's 120 kilos this weight. Um, he should be wearing a belt, but he doesn't actually have one. Last one. There you go. Anyway, right there. Good work, brother. up our session for today smash back quick protein shake in the aventador shaker so just got one scoop of wpi and 10 grams of glutamine i feel like these are so much better bro we just had this all right guys i'm freshly showered cooking up some kangaroo sausages with white rice but only like 150 grams of white rice because i've already had carb powder pre and during my workout and then i just put in a handful of spinach some shredded carrots and some tomatoes just to add in a little bit of goodness so I'm going to hit this meal real quick and then we're going to shoot over to the warehouse to have a look at the flooring that they're putting in today. Mm. Oh wow. Mmm. Oh. I to mention that I put some of this um, roast chicken gravy on top just to add the little bit of flavor. So it's actually 98% fat free. And you can add it to anything really. What's the... There's one gram sugar in it. So pretty good. Look at this beautiful rubber flooring. All right, so the walls have been painted. The windows are going in. The rubber floors are nearly in, and they're doing the astro turf by the looks of it. Yeah, six percent, six percent black and grey. Well, it's kind of white, but I don't know. It looks good. They told me it was grey, light grey. To give you guys a squeeze of the outside, they've finished painting it. So if you remember, it was a green. Oh, it's the same colour as the side. They haven't painted the side. So now that they've finished painting it that grey, you can actually see what it's going to look like when it's done. And we're putting a big ass Active Bodies World sign across there. Yeah, yeah. So it's 2.46pm. I'm about to head into the office to handle some really boring paperwork. Got to get the insurance organised for the gym, which if you look at this document, it is about 10 pages long, answering all these questions about a whole lot of boring shit. But it's just one of those things that you gotta get done. And I've been pushing it back and pushing it back, but I thought today's the day, day, day. I'm gonna do it. Anyway, Cass is gonna go do session number two for the day, because we all about that fit life. And uh, they'll probably pick her up on the way home. What color are those shoes? Green. Are they green or Neon. are they yellow? Neon green. They look a little bit green in this light, actually. I was gonna say yellow from back here. But when you get up close, just like those shorts are green, they get a little bit greener. Maybe they got a mixture of green and yellow, and then when you're far away, oh my god, I'm like having this argue with you again. Man. They're green. Are you sure? What do you guys reckon? Comment below. What color are they? This is green as well. Oh, that's green, is it? This one. This light color, and it's the same. Okay. Yep, they're definitely the same. <laughs> Yeah, but how was it? Was it hot in there? 
I got scuff on my shoe. Oh shit. Ah, oh, that'll come off. I know. Got that crit wipe. Girl. Uh, Might have fresh as fuck again. Already wiped him down. Um, so we're back at home and I'm about to have my next meal. I've heated up a prepped meal. I'm going to be having the chipotle chicken with sweet potato and green beans. And I'm having it in my big boy bowl. If you don't have a big boy bowl, you better get one. Because it just makes life a whole lot easier. Easy to clean, easy to stir shit, and easy to add sauces and mix things up in. Join the team. Big bowl team for life. Alright guys, I haven't vlogged anything since I last ate my lunch and it's now 8.11 because I've been on the computer. So, I'm going to show you what I'm having for dinner. I'm going to be eating some shredded chicken that we got from Coles off the rotisserie chicken thing and we just peeled off all the skin, peeled off all the like chunky little fatty bits and we just left the chicken. And now I've heated up half a packet of savory chicken rice, chicken rice with chicken and then on top of that I'm going to add chicken gravy, gravy, gravy. So chicken flavored everything. You know why? Because I love chicken. You see? We added the gravy, and then we added 38 grams of corn, and then I've got a salad on the side, which my honey bunny made up for me, because she's queen of salads these days. And that's my dinner. And now we're gonna go sit down on the couch and watch some vlogs. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog there. I hope you enjoyed watching me train with my coach. So we're gonna do a video like that at least once a week just to give you guys a little bit of an insight as to the training that I'm doing. So as you can tell, some of the movements that we do are a little bit more advanced, so they're not suitable for everyone. But that's just a little bit of an insight as to what I'm doing. Some people in the previous videos that I've been training with Nave said that they really like his voiceover and uh, the tips that he gives. So we're gonna do that at least once a week. The post notification shout out today goes to Jaden who said post notifications on. So good to see you at the Arnold's, you're an absolute legend. So thanks Jaden for your comment. If you guys want a shout out, all you gotta do is go to my page, click the little bell next to the subscribe button, turn post notifications on, and then come back and leave me a little comment. I'll shout out someone every day. So make sure you click the like button on this video, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Where are you now? I'm dancing, 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 I'm